So, Scar, I see you finally come around to join us. Yes, I have. There was just problems with my other colony. I just couldn't bear it anymore. And now we've been waiting for you for a very long time. It's a pleasure to have you in our colony. Even though it's still developing, it's still under the works, but we're pretty sure you're going to help us build it up, right? Yes, I am 100% sure I'm going to help your colony. I want to defeat the other colony that I was a part of. Not it, not the people, just one person in particular. Well, actually two people, in fact. Both of their names are Jennifer and Caitlin. Where could he have gone? Oh, sweetheart, I don't know. He wouldn't just disappear like that if something actually happened. Well, something did happen. And what was that? Well, Scott felt like he was getting left out. Then he told us that he wasn't going to be a friend or in the colony anymore and then he just left I didn't know what to do because I was panicking so much that I, I don't know it's just a big mess we finally figured everything out and then it just all broke it down again oh Jennifer Jennifer I always knew you were a nice person but you always have to include someone no matter what it's like writing a story yeah, like writing a story. You have to give all the characters as much screen time because you're gonna give too much time on one character and it's just gonna get boring by then. Yeah, I was getting a little clingy. I have to say that myself. I've never lost a member before, so this is gonna take a while. So come on girls, let's go. Oh, these little girls did everything. Now, girls, I don't care what you say. You can leave if you want to. You guys are going to look for the jewel all day, all night. Seriously? All night? We're not gonna even get any rest. Well, that isn't my problem. And I'm gonna put trackers on you. So you don't try to sleep on the job. At this point, she's just using us for her own power. Yeah, it's disgusting. I'm just eight years old. I can't work all day and all night. I'll be traumatizing. 
doesn't look like I care if it's traumatizing. You are going to work, either if you like it or not. Or you're not going to be in the colony or going to starve. Since I'm showing some kindness, we're all going to start working tomorrow. Yep, the rest of the day, just start resting. I would suggest it since you would have more energy. Um, Kayla, will I be working? I'm just questioning it. Everyone will be working, including me. You have the whole team. But who's going to watch over your baby? I'm going to bring her with me. Now, we are going to get started tomorrow, so we're all going to rest peacefully. But first, before we find the jewel, we should take down the other colonies if they try to get in our way. This is horrible. Absolutely horrible. We can't find any food, and we're all starving. What could have gone wrong? We did nothing wrong. Yeah, we even lost a few members of our colony. Just so overwhelming. I never thought being a leader would be this stressful. Jennifer would never just run away. There had to be, like, a valid reason why. Running away at all isn't valid. I have an idea. Why don't you go search for Jennifer? She may be far away, but there's still this grasp of hope that may be out there. Yeah, I'll go look. I'll make sure to find her right now. Thank you. You're the last hope we have. The last hope of this colony. Serena. Come on, Jennifer. We haven't been we haven't even been looking for this long. We're already tired. All my hope is gone. I really messed everything up, didn't I? Don't blame yourself. It's well it happens, okay? The reason it only happened was because of me. Honestly, I don't get the fuss about this. Sure, I don't care about him, but we have to let people go sometimes. You can't just force them to be your friend. Looking for him is not going to make that happen. I know that, but it's just he was a really good friend. And he was like one of my first friends when I joined the colony stuff. Oh, Gypsy Jew, it's all going to be okay. Why don't we stop looking for him and we go search for some food? I'm pretty sure there's like a cornfield we can steal from. We could buy some if we have the money. No, no, it's all fine. I'm not hungry right now anyway. Come on, we could just steal some food. Even though that's not a good influence on you guys. Honestly, I'm, I'm with Jennifer. I'm not even hungry right now. I'm you serious? I'm always in the mood for eating. Mm -mm -mm. It's amazing. <gasps> Jennifer! Wait. I recognize that. <gasps> oh my gosh. Serena! Oh my gosh. It's been like such a long time since I've seen you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh. Oh my god. I know who she is. Is that a person from her colony? Yep. Yeah. They were probably looking for her, which is probably not good sense for a year. Were those people trying to hurt you? I'll beam them up if they were. No, 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 no. There's no need for that. They're my friends. Friends? What do you mean? I'm in this new colony where equality is outstanding. They let people in from other colonies. 
and check our colony. So equality. They're gonna take down the other colonies and make equality even bigger than it was. So you left me you left me clueless for some colony? You you abandoned me? What? No! I would never do that. It's just someone kidnapped me. So you're on the villain side, aren't you? No, I promise I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come at me with your little story. I've been your friend forever, and you're just gonna abandon me like this? It's not how it is. It's not the pros. Are you in a party quality now? Yeah, I would have been. But of course, you have to abandon me and not even tell me. I would have told you if I got the chance. You know I didn't get to. You could have told your friends that you could have told me. No, of course you didn't. You never do. Never, ever. You're always so secretive. Always. You never tell anything. At this point, it's just... God, so annoying. I'm done. We're through. I don't care anymore. I'm done with you, Jennifer. Wait, Serena. Get off me, Jennifer. I told you. We're done. Two people I love the most just left me. Now I see I'm a bad friend because of that. Well, I would kind of see why your friend would just dump you like that because you just left and didn't tell her anything. I mean, I'm pretty sure she would come and be with us, but you didn't tell her anything. I shut up, didn't I? I'm such an idiot. I'm the most idiotic person out of the word idiotic itself. I can't look anyone in the eyes with this stupid face. I look like a clown. I'm an idiot. Such an idiot. That was a Madoka Magica reference. Episode 8. Oh my god, you're such a crybaby. Just because you do one mistake doesn't mean you're a failure. You don't have to burden yourself all the time. That's not how it works. The whole entire world doesn't expect you to put all its responsibilities on you. Thank you. That made me feel a little better. <sighs> now, you should get back to the colony. It'll make me feel better. I know this is probably going to ruin the mood, but I'm just going to go grab some carrots or whatever I can find. So I'm going to just be right back. <laughs> okay, let's go. Right? Come get the food back for us, okay? Oh, how do you do? How are you? That's usually here. He usually sells the food. Oh, I work for him now. Surprising, isn't it? Yeah, very surprising. Now, what would you like? Hmm, the carrot and this thing. I don't know what it's called. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, that will be $20. Twenty dollars, Jesus Christ! That's a lot. Oh yes, I know that. Then why would you make it so expensive? Because I want my friend back. Wait a minute, you look familiar. Wait, were you that girl? Help! 